fishing as you can see it has been raining for a week down here in alabama we've got the remnants of hurricane nick or hurricane tropical depression or storm or whatever you want to call it nicholas rolling through and it has dumped some rain on us there's been flood in tuscaloosa i'm glad the tide wasn't playing there this weekend that game would have got canceled but it's been raining so long story short i haven't been fishing uh i have all the stuff to fish in the rain but there's sunny days ahead. I'm actually waiting until Thursday. High's gonna be in the 70s. Lows in the 50s. Gonna hit it probably when it's 50 degrees outside. And I got some stuff in the mail for that cold weather. Check it out. Now, if you're a baller on a budget like I am, you don't really wanna pay a whole lot of money for uh, some really fancy cold weather gear. So. I went to Amazon and I searched and I searched and I found these diving boots. Uh, they're neoprene. They've got a rubber sole and a rubber toe and I figured they'd be perfect for getting my feet in, them, in that cold water. Here they are. They're made by Cressy. I guess that's how you say that. They're seven millimeter stick. So it keep, uh, keep my feet nice and, and toasty when the water gets nice and cold. Uh, Totally rubber sole. Got a good grip on it. Yeah, should do me well. I'll post a link to these. I got them off of Amazon for about 40 bucks. Uh, I'll post the, the link down in the section. <laughs> To Academy and got these sweet Magellan bibs. They were $49.99 and I was expecting to spend a hundred dollars on bibs and I got these for 50 bucks and they're great. We've even got a little pocket here. You even got these little pockets, you know, where the girls with the dresses do. Oh look, my dress has pockets. My bib, my bib has pockets. Alright, let's zip up on the sides. I got reinforced knees. Can't really see, there you go. Reinforced knees. So I'm gonna try these out here relatively soon. Probably on Thursday. Let's talk uh, PFDs for a second. This is the PFD I have been rocking. It's just some no brand name, probably made in China. Got a little bit of foam in there. PFD off of Amazon. I didn't really feel safe in it. I tried it in the water. And let's just say it was enough keep me floating enough to get to a bank that's about it so i went and i bought a new pfd now this one is not cheap as you can tell i went out and i bought the nrs chinook this thing is sweet it's got a little spot right here where you can buy the 50 dollar knife if you want to uh it's got a pocket for your pliers right here which is sweet it's got humongous pockets it's absolutely huge pockets and you know it zips you can keep i guess valuables in there it's got little bands here where you can keep random things i don't know i'm probably gonna keep my phone in there this side has just as much storage so got two little pockets on the inside and some velcro pockets on the outside honestly this is usually where I keep usually where I keep my firearm when I'm on the water because I don't like snakes and I don't want a snake to get in a boat with me. So I will smoke the snake before it gets in the boat with me. They zip right up. It's got this little Velcro tab. I haven't really figured out what that's for. If y'all know, please tell me. Uh, it's got this big old float in the back. Keep your head up out of the water. Uh, I'm a big guy, about 6'2", 270 pounds, so I got the XL, double XL, and it fits like a dream. Absolutely not sponsored by any of these companies. I have 
zero sponsors, which is perfectly cool with me. I just really enjoy getting out here and, and showing you guys exactly what I plan on using for some cold water fishing in a kayak because it gets wet. You're going to get wet, whether it's the paddle or wakes or whatever's out there, uh, rain. You're going to get wet, and I don't want to be wet and cold. Uh, if you know me, I'm definitely going to be wearing a hoodie with all this because hoodies are my jam. Uh, just got a brand new Kusa Cotton hoodie that I'm stoked about wearing. Uh, you can hear, you probably hear my, my newborn child upstairs screaming, which is great. Uh, probably hungry. It's always hungry. One other thing I uh, taught myself how to do last night, and which as an angler, I probably should have known this, but uh, I grew up just doing the uh, fancy old Texas rig. Well, last night, I taught myself, I didn't really teach myself, I learned from YouTube how to tie on the old drop shot here, which is gonna be pretty dope. Uh, I got some, some legit drop shot soft plastics coming in the mail i'm gonna try out i got offered like super cheap on amazon I'll, I'll link those down in the bio too if you want to see got these uh, little drop shot weights from academy so i have plenty of these hooks i just use old old wacky rig hook some people say don't do that but i'm not too concerned with it i think it'll work just fine but yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing some drop shotting uh this coming up thursday Maybe a little bit deeper water, we'll see. Uh, if I can find some, some cover in some deeper water. That is a quarter ounce weight. I uh, almost hooked myself, that was good. That would be great. Hey honey, I hooked myself down in the basement making a YouTube video. Anyways, but yeah, as you can see, it's just a little, a little hook. So I'm gonna try to fish it weedless and I'm gonna try to fish it non-weedless as you see and see what we can come up with uh you know i, I recently discovered the the wacky rig and i you know i have the the o-ring applicator and all that stuff for that well i made myself a little worm box check this worm box out guys so this is the worm box we have here right here we have some nail weights for Nico rigging, these wacky rig worms. Uh, we have O-rings. We have the O-ring applicator, which needs to be refilled apparently. And I've got quite a few of these worms already rigged up for wacky fishing. That's what, we're, that's what I'm gonna call it, wacky fishing. Just out here wacky fishing. Uh, I believe this worm, I went ahead and put a nail weight in the end of it. See, uh, see if we can't get it a little deeper, faster. Over here, we have just generic wacky hooks. And then, of course, I have my six cents wacky hooks right here. Uh, those things are great. I caught like seven fish on those the other day uh, using... Where's the color at? I might have already used them all, which would not surprise me. But this is watermelon red flake right here. That's what I used. And they were tearing them up. Looks like I need to rig some more because I used them all. Oh, there's one. Watermelon red flake with the O-ring right there in the middle of it. If you check my Instagram, I, I show y'all how I use this applicator. And uh, I'm kind of excited about using these black and blue. You know, the old, old classic black and blue. And then I got some of these bad boys, watermelon with black flake, which you know, it's just, just a tried and true right there. And some brush hogs. Now I don't know if I'm gonna, these, these are a little big, but I might try to throw them on the old drop, drop shot just to see what happens. Probably not, it's probably way too big for it, but why not, you know what I'm saying? And these are, I want to say 90% yum plastics. These are these are just the 
the yums uh, worms. They call them the, the trick worms. And then I've got these little guys here from a drop shot. Uh, pretty sure these are zoom baits. I don't know, I took them out of all the bags and <laughs> promptly immediately forgot what brand they are. I guess that's not a good thing. Oh well, let's reorganize this. Let's get a little chaotic in here. Ooh, I pinched that one, look at that. Might be interesting, who knows. That's, uh, that's going to conclude this video today. If y'all have any questions and or advice, because I am straight up an amateur bass fisherman, hit me up in the comments. Uh, really, specifically, drop shot fishing, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've looked up a lot of YouTube videos, but YouTube can only take you so far. Experience takes you the rest of the way. So we're going to see how well I do on Thursday. Uh, today is Sunday, so I still have to hang out in the house for a couple more days until this weather passes. Don't really want to get out there in my old lifetime Yukon Angler Pro because the, the water right now is just, it's rough. It's rough out there. And I ain't trying to test out my new NRS Chinook right off the get. Uh, that would be bad. I do not like flipping the kayak. I've got too much stuff on here. And a lot of it's tethered down, but some of it's not. Uh, yeah.